Okay, so today we're going to show you a quick guide on how to remove Copilot in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So before you remove it, what is Copilot? Copilot is an AI powered digital assistant that helps users with a variety of tasks. Now, if you're not sure what you're removing, then perhaps try out Copilot. First of all, see if you get on with it. If you don't, then still carry on with this guide. So straight to it. What we're going to need to do is we're going to, first of all, need to close down Copilot off the screen if we've got it opened. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our start button and then type on our keyboard PowerShell. And as you're typing PowerShell, you should see Windows PowerShell come up under best match. Right click on it and then left click run as administrator. If this comes up, click on yes. Now, once PowerShell is open after the C Windows System 32 prompt, as you can see there on the left, you need to type in this command here. And this command should be typed in exactly as it's shown on the screen. It is case sensitive. So wherever you see a capital letter, then use that capital letter. And please note the vertical lines, the one between uh, get app X package and where object is actually a vertical line going downwards. It's not a one, it's not an L, it's not an I. This button can usually be found on the left hand side of the keyboard, often above the Windows key or above the tab key on your keyboard. Now, don't worry about the coloring in the text. The coloring will happen automatically as you're typing. And this will remove Copilot, the app in Windows 10 or 11 for the current user. If you want to remove Copilot for all users using the current PC, then you need to add a minus all users with a capital A and a capital U, no space, after get app X package and also after remove app X package, just as it's shown on the screen right now. Pause this video if you need to, if you need to write this down, I'll try and put this command in the description of the video below. So have a look down below. But once you've typed it in, once you've triple checked it and made sure that everything is fine, then press enter or return on your keyboard. But please be aware if you've got anything wrong here, you could screw up your system. So I would suggest if you're one of these people that tends to rush things and you're not 100% sure if you've typed it correctly, then make sure you've got a good backup of everything on your computer before proceeding. So once I press enter or return, this is what you get. As you can see, you've got deployment operation in progress and there you go, it's gone and it's actually removed Copilot from the screen just there, but it is still shown here, the preview version. How do you get rid of that? Well, there's no easy way to totally get rid of it, but we can hide it. So we just click on the start button and just type on our keyboard taskbar. And hopefully after a few seconds, you should see taskbar settings under best match. Left click once on that, and then we can turn off there Copilot in Windows Preview. And as you can see, once I turn that off, it removes it from the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now, you might have noticed there when I was searching for taskbar on the start menu, the Copilot symbol come up on there. Now, this isn't installed on the computer anymore. If I click on that, it actually what it does is it takes us to Microsoft's Copilot website. So although it's there, it's not actually still installed on the computer. But whilst we're in there, we can remove Copilot also if it's installed from Edge. So open up Edge if it's not open already. Delete out whatever's in the bar at the top of the screen. That's the address bar and just type Edge colon forward slash forward slash apps and then press enter or return and if copilot is installed in edge it will show here now mine i've got nothing showing here edge certainly isn't showing there a copilot certainly isn't showing there so i could actually remove it from there if it was installed but it's not that other command has actually removed it you might be asking how do i get it back later on if i do decide to uh, use it well what you can do is you can click on the microsoft store at the bottom of the screen there or if you can't see it just click 
on the start button and then just type the word store and hopefully under best match you should see microsoft store left click once on that and then click in search apps games movies and more and type in there copilot and then hopefully there after a few seconds you should see copilot appear let's just scroll down to it click on it microsoft copilot and then click on get and there you go it will download it and it will reinstall it but what about if you want to restore copilot back to edge well open up edge and then go up to the address bar at the top of the screen not the search the web bar there but the address bar at the top delete out anything that might be in there microsoft.com forward slash store forward slash top hyphen free forward slash apps forward slash pc all in lowercase and no spaces just as it's shown on the screen there then press enter or return on your keyboard and you should see this screen here with loads of apps now if you scroll down the screen somewhere down here you should see Copilot. It may take a bit of scrolling, but it's going to be there somewhere. And there we go. There it is there. Microsoft Copilot. Left click once on that and then left click download. And that will then start to download Microsoft Copilot installer. Or it might just automatically install. But if it doesn't and you see this open file here, left click once on open file. And there we go. It says the latest version is installed. And what we can do is we can click on open and down there and that should open it up but not only that it also gives us the option if we want to to pin copilot to the taskbar or the start button or create a auto uh, or create a desktop shortcut or automatically start when you first log into the device so it's up to you whether or not you select these so i'm just going to click out of that but what we need to do now is we just need to go into the downloads folder so click on the little folder there just to the right of and then we can delete this microsoft copilot installer if we need it again we can just re-download it so there you go that guide showed you a quick way of removing copilot from your windows 10 or windows 11 computer also showed you how you can reinstall it. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.